Oh, hello. Would you like a chocolate pretzel? Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great coming to you with another toy review and in today's toy review we are going to be doing a review, unboxing, and like I've been doing at the end of all of these videos, a card pack opening. I am so, having so much fun with these Dragon Ball Super Cards. So before we get into this stuff, let's look into this. So I do toy hunts for those of you who, this might be their, your first video, I am, my channel is basically a toy hunting channel. I just want a toy hunt. I just want a and I found this in a local comic shop and the guy was saying you're the first person that bought this old Dragon Ball stuff for so damn long like no one this stuff has been sitting on the shelves forever and you could tell like there's even a little bit of mold what? which is not good and so I won't be putting this in my house I'll put it in the storage unit <laughs> but um Look at this, dude. 1996. New, it says. New 1996. I was six years old. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, very cool box. And basically, I bought this for the box alone. It was $15. And I like that sticker because one day in the future, I will remember Zap Comics. You know, like, I don't like when old the people have the old boxes and they take the store stickers off. I like to see if you got it at KB Toys or something like that. So, now, what's in here is what surprised me, because this was open in the store. So, this actually is not Trunks. Uh, I believe he's just on the cover, and I, I everything should actually be in here, so hold on. I'm not going to be building it, because I think it's too cool and too old to uh, build. But, basically, he, Trunks is just on the cover. It is a Vegito. Or Gogeta. I, I always get those two. Yeah, say look. Oh, he even has the little halo. I love the little halo thing. That is so cool. So look, here we go. We have the skin color. We have his hair. We got the hair right here. Where's his face? Oh, right here. Here's his face. Super Saiyan. He's got the face right there. Look at the pants. The rubber. There. This is like rubber. Everything is sealed. And then look at this. Uh, I don't even know. Is that Spanish? So this is Spanish? Look at that. Or French? Is that French? What? French or Spanish? Really cool. Let me put this back in here and let's get to the why usually, why most of you are probably here. Okay. Alright guys, so we have Bardock and now uh, I always knew him and remembered him as Goku's dad, but he, oh, I mean, obviously, that he's Goku's dad, but I mean, I'm saying I remembered him having a very small role, if anything, just a passing cameo in, in the Frieza saga, right? Uh, and I guess he comes back for Super, I am not finished with Super yet, so I'm sure he comes back or flashbacks or something like that. I know he was in the Broly movie, I did go see that Broly movie, uh, though I did not really like how they changed up a bunch of the characters, but this isn't a movie review uh, for that. Did you guys like that Broly movie? Do you like how they changed characters and all that stuff? I don't know how I felt about that. Now here is uh, Goku's dad. I just love this as a figure. I just I was like I saw it. I wasn't gonna get it, and then I was like, nah, I should pick this up. Like this is probably a figure that will be hard to find in the future. Uh, I mean, the figure arts usually are right. We have a blast. We have three different heads uh, or faces. We have different hair, an ear, and then we have a bunch of hands. So. Um, let's take a look at the figure itself. Let's see. So he has the plastic in here. I like that that uh, You know they try to that's how you could also tell if it's been repackaged. Wow really glossy paint uh, This is cool. Wow. This is a nice figure. It's all the updated articulation I would definitely like to see a new Goku with oh, what's that? Hold on. Does he have different bicep articulation? Um, it's always scary getting one of these figure arts at, out of the box and stuff because you want to be very careful because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like wasting a lot of money. <laughs> so when I do pick these up, these premium figures, I don't want to break them. So I, I, could, I could be just, it could be just me on that, but he has a scouter. But the cool thing about him is he has a scouter, but he also has a different freaking earpiece. So you literally could take the scouter off or put his ear on. He has the art articulated updated legs. I like those. Um, he has like those leg warmers, very dated 
outfit like of the times like very cool I love that that's what I love about the old Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z uh, is just feel like the way it felt like I love that that hand-drawn animation super is really rough people said it gets a little better but uh, the animation in super man I, I don't know what they did it's kind of like insulting hold on let's see I'm gonna try to take this out of here uh, let's see whoa He's missing his whole damn head. Now, how does this plug in? Let me see, does this just plug in there? Um, that's weird, ah! Okay, so his hair comes off, his ear plugs in. It doesn't stay on there too well. Now, oh, I lost this hair piece, no I didn't. All right, now, is that what this other hair piece is for? Let me see. Let me put this other hair piece and it probably holds in the ear. That's probably what this other ear piece does. Remember, everything has a reason, usually. Everything comes for a reason. And yeah, th yeah, that works. That works. I don't know if it's holding his, his ear in, but that's a, this is just a cool looking figure. I could definitely, and, and plus like, um, if you're going by the Dragon Ball Z, you could just like have him going to different planets like if you're doing toy photography and just like you could just have him going and taking over different planets like you know give him give him your own story arcs in your toy photography. I like toy photography. That's why I always think of what can I do with the figure toy photography one. Now let's see Now let's see father and son. So, hold on. Let's stand this figure up. And this is the target Goku, I, I really recommend everybody go pick that up. Uh, the new tar uh, this is the Target Goku that you could find thirty freaking five dollars. Thirty freaking five dollars. Uh, definitely really cool. Uh, Bardock is a little tanner. Goku's got to sit out in the sun a little bit, and uh, very cool figure. Definitely recommend. But now let's get to my favorite, my favorite part. Um, let's get to the card pack now hopefully you guys have been liking these uh, I, I I did get some feedback but again with my channel you know obviously I listen to everybody but also I got to do what I like on here and you know my likes are always different that's why it's fun if you subscribe you never know really what I'm gonna post like one day might be Pokemon one day might be WWE one day might be Dragon Ball. Like, I I just go f with the flow. Toys is fun. This is my hobby. I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are too. Vegeta Sentinel from heck. Wow, that's actually pretty cool that they write that. You know, Pokemon probably would not put that. I still don't know who this is. I'm getting there though. The Tree of Might. Krillin! Dragon Ball Krillin. Uh, Son Gohan. With the glasses. What a nerd. Wiz. Or Whis. Trunks. Now this is Trunks. Like, uh, is this from Super? He's got really long hair now with the with the back ponytail. Uh, he's from a movie I remember, right? Um, Dies. Daz. Now this is a uncommon and uh, nothing at the end, guys. That is my second pack that I did not get anything at the end. I think I kind of I've been having really good luck, and now I'm starting to come to. At least it's a rare, but uh, I've been having like really good luck and now I had two in a row of no luck. So I wonder, I wonder, whatever. But thanks for watching guys. Please leave comments down below. Uh, hopefully you've been liking these videos. Stay tuned for more toy hunts. I'm out of here.